This is just a video showing some of the gourds that I've been growing. G-O-U-R-D-S, gourds. Um, basically my general rule of thumb with gardening has mostly been to only grow things that I can actually eat. Uh, but gourds are an exception to that rule. Uh, so aside from growing my vegetables, my tomatoes, cucumbers, potatoes, and edible flowers, and and uh, herbs and all of those various other things. Uh, I've also been growing a few different gourds and uh, the main one I'm going to focus on here are these uh, the, these large ones, these birdhouse gourds. And I'll come a little closer just to give you a sense of you know size on these. Uh, so if you can see my hand here, you know clearly this is you know you know much larger than uh, than my hand uh, and um, Anyway, by sense of uh, reference, I'm going to show some of these in various stages of maturing. And this one here is mostly green. There's not much, uh, there's not much brown on it at all. One of the things that starts to happen uh, during the maturing process is that first thing I typically notice is some of these brown spots on here. Uh, and one way to tell whether they are, uh, that the gourd is rotting is to see, you know, whether they're firm. And in this case, they're nice and firm. This is just the gourd itself maturing. Uh, so this is going to uh, hopefully come along nicely. Um, eventually, it will get more and more uh, brown uh, through, you know, you know, the color will change throughout. Uh, and again, it's getting, you know, these are getting more and more brown. Sometimes, uh, try not to mess with it too much. If you do, you may start to peel off the skin a bit here. Uh, but overall, you know, this is still a, you know, you know, a nice hard gourd. Uh, it's not rotting. And then eventually, they'll come along to a point where essentially all of it is brown. And, and it's amazing how uh, how lightweight these become for their size. They're actually, for, you know, moderately heavy when you, when the, when they first uh, come along. For the most part, you would want to harvest, you would want to have these mature on the vine. And mostly that was what I was doing, but with this batch here, I had an area where I sort of needed to, uh, you know, clear up my garden uh, for the end of the season. And these gourds that were in that area, um, you know, needed to come off. So, um, so, but for the most part, I left them on the vine as long as, uh, you know, as long as I, you know, reasonably good for my situation. And eventually what happens is it dries out enough that you can actually hear the seeds shaking inside. Now if it's not fully hardened, you don't want to shake them too hard because I had one where I actually shook the seeds and the whole thing came with a big clump right out the side of the gourd. Um, and the general idea with these birdhouse gourds is that after they're fully mature, and I'll let this, uh, you know, continue to mature over the next, uh, you know, number of months, over the winter, uh, then you can drill a hole in here, uh, in the side, you know, drill a, uh, a hole for a bird to get in and out, a couple other little holes in the bottom to let the wa any water drain out, and then you hang them around and birds will come and uh, find them. Uh, here was one that actually had fallen uh, off of the, off of the vine, and, um, and it actually cracked, and I thought, well, this is going to be no good. This one's going to go bad. It's going to rot. The bugs are going to get in, uh, and yet this one hardened and matured beautifully. You can, you can hear those seeds. It would make a, a great Morocco. So um, that's just a general, you know, gist on some of these uh, birdhouse gourds that I'm growing. Uh, and one other thing I'll uh, point out, these other ones here, I'm not quite sure what they're called, uh, but I, I got them from a neighbor who's from the Mediterranean part of the world, and uh, she was growing some of these, and she gave one of these to my son, and we saved the seeds and planted a couple, and a bunch grew the next year. Um, but back to, the, uh, back to the birdhouse gourds, some of them, unfortunately will start to rot. Uh, and I have a couple over here just to show as an example. Um, if you press on these, you know, they're all soft and mushy. And this one you can see the outer shell is totally off of it and that one's opened up as well. Uh, so th the main thing I would recommend for these is keep them away from 
you're maturing good healthy gourds um, because you know you don't want if there's any bugs or microorganisms or whatever the heck is uh, you know contributing to the rotting uh, you, you know you don't want those to uh, to get over and infest your uh, your your healthy maturing gourds um, some of this could just be I, I don't know what uh, causes this there are websites online where you can read but from people who know way more about growing gourds than I do uh, I think there's one called Amish gourds or something or if you google search for Amish gourds there's a guy who is very very emphatic at letting the gourds harvest on the vine uh, and uh, and basically saying that you know that's the the uh, best way you know to uh, you know to let your gourds mature um, and even he says though that you know maybe 10 or 15 percent are, are going to uh, rot in the process and you just pull them out and get them away from the other stuff if you can um, so you know I would say in general since he's been doing this much longer than me probably that's uh, reasonable advice although with anything try out what works for you and if you clip a few off and see how they do this one as I said as an example um, fell off clearly it wasn't uh, it, it wasn't uh, you know really uh, ripe at the time it was very green at the time when it fell off and cracked uh, and yet this one is actually the furthest along in terms of uh, maturity so uh, go figure um, why do I save these rotting ones at all uh, well basically one of the things you can do is to collect the seeds. So these are seeds here of uh, birdhouse, uh, for the birdhouse gourds. Uh, and um, whether you should really get that one from rotting ones or wait for the mature ones, I don't know. But since it's my first year with these, I grabbed a few seeds from a few, uh, from a few that had softened up. Uh, and I'm sure once I get uh, you know, these good ones going here, I'll uh, really probably mostly be relying on the seeds from the uh, good ones that uh, that have grown here so that's just my general little tour of the gourds here's one a different type of gourd this one uh, is referred to sometimes I think as a uh, caveman club gourd uh, if you get a sense of that for size it looks like if, uh, if I were a caveman and looking to club someone over the head I guess a gourd like that would come in handy um, but for my purposes, uh, my uh, son just put a couple of eyes on there and made this into a little, uh, a little decoration for the uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving uh, season here. So that's a bunch of gourds here. I uh, hope this is helpful to you. If uh, you know much about uh, growing gourds, uh, certainly post your comments or links. I'd be happy to learn more. And if you have questions uh, for something that... Uh, perhaps uh, myself or other viewers can answer, feel free to post those as well. Okay, happy gardening!